Hey everybody, it's the end of July and it's time for the next chili plan update. Um, we've got a bunch of pods coming in, so we'll just start checking them out. Uh, first up real quick, we'll do the uh, sweet pickle peppers. Um, the only non-hot pepper that we're growing this year. Uh, producing like crazy. There's so many peppers in here. And I've already picked a few dozen, so yeah. And the other one there. The thing I like about these two, uh, the variety of colors that the, the peppers have, you know, we get lime green, purple, orange, red, really cool looking. All right. Next up, the, uh, the three new varieties from pepperlover.com, uh, the Devil's Horn, Brain, and Heart. Okay, first up we're going to do the Devil's Horn. Um, this one has a lot of pods that are coming out, kind of true to form. You see these little tails coming out. All right. Not all of them on this plant have these tails, but most of them do. The majority have the tails coming out. It's really wicked looking pods. I can't wait to see these things when they're fully ripe and fully developed. Now here's one that's kind of more boot shaped almost with a halfway form tail, I guess. There's a couple down in the middle. The first ones that form that don't really, they're just kind of there. They don't look much like how they're supposed to. All right, and then uh, one here has like half a tail. But these are really cool looking pods. Whole bunch coming out under there. Like I said, most of them do have the uh, have the tail coming out. So really, really neat looking pods. But the other uh, devil's horn, this one doesn't really have the tails. Let me get down so we can get a cross shot here. These ones really resemble like boots, something like that. They're really wrinkly. Some of the tails, like they're they're trying to form a tail, but it's not quite there. So this one's just kind of off. But um, still cool looking pots, and they get big too. They're pretty big. All right, a few more over here, and yeah, that's it. So yeah, really, um, we'll have to wait and see these new ones that are starting to form if they get any of the tails. But so far, really no crazy tails coming out of these uh, devil's horns so yeah uh, next up the uh, the devil's brain I really like how these these uh, pods look um, let's get a shot right in here let's see a couple in there here I'll get a close-up of the one on the other side that I think looks pretty pretty cool all right um, this one this one just started two weeks ago with the uh, with the pods. Most of them have been going for like three weeks. This one's like two weeks. So it's like a week behind the other. All right. Um, let's get in here and check out like this guy. He doesn't have a tail. He doesn't have like the tail. But I mean, look at that skin. It's just wrinkly and gnarly looking. Really, really like lime, light lime green color. All right. Really cool looking pods. I like, I like how those look. So yeah, it's the uh, devil's brain, and next the um, the hearts, the devil's hearts. All right, this one I'm not I'm not certain exactly how these are supposed to be looking at the moment. I mean, they're all kind of shaped similarly, but most of them are very unique. So yeah, same thing as like the um, the the brain really light color skin all right get down so yeah these are the hearts the devil's hearts and some more over here right here's the uh, one I thought looked pretty cool so it's got that almost that maruga look to it you know that bumpy gnarly looking tail the stinger. Okay. So yeah, that's the uh, the, the devil's heart. All right. Next up, um, red devil's tongue here. This thing's putting out quite a few pods. Um, we finally had weather in the 90s this summer. I wanted to mention because uh, man, we had a lot of rain in the beginning of the month and last month, tons of rain. Right now, it's it's hot sunny and dry so I actually have been watering these and these plants 
two days in a row now, they wilted down by noon. They were just psh, drooped down, all the leaves. So they, they got two nice waterings in the evenings and uh, they bounce right back up. As soon as the sun goes over and they're in the shade, they, they come right back. So that's really, really nice. That's what I want to see on these guys. But anyway, um, there's a ton of pods on this uh, red devil's tongue coming in. Looks real nice. And the uh, yellow devil's tongue right over here was topped. Got some pods coming in on that. Okay. Actually, quite a few pods on this side over here. I mean, look at those bunches coming in. That's crazy, the, the cluster of, of pods coming in right there on that branch alone. I can't wait to see that when they're all ripe. All right, so yeah. The other side, they're starting to get some pods over there too. A couple on over here. But anyway, yeah, the, I mean, it's come up a lot since I topped it. And it's like bushed out like crazy. I mean, look at that. I mean, if I could get this side to come up the same, that would be a huge canopy on it. So yeah. Looking real nice. And if you notice, um, all the new growth is really, really nice color green, where the older stuff is kind of lighter on, not quite yellow, but just a really light green. And I think that was just from the weather, the rain, the cooler nights we had, and, and you know, a combination of all that. So, yeah. Um, next up, Carolina Reaper. All right. Now these guys, let's get in here. Got a couple here, irregular Carolina Reaper pods, no tails. Again, um, I've noticed on a lot of the, the Reapers, the first couple pods that, that form and come in, they're irregular and they don't they don't come out true to form. But then, you know, some of these guys like tail there, uh, tail on this guy, there's a tail on this guy coming out. Alright. That's another irregular here, this big one but a whole bunch of pots coming in. And the other one here, that's an irregular pod. Here's a nice looking, nice looking one. Little tail there, tail on that one. Tails on that cluster here. All right, there's a tail on that one. Let's see, zoom in, you see the tail. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna focus the grass, isn't it? Great. Well. Either way, really crazy how the skin's just kind of folded and it's got this just wicked looking skin on them. All right, so yeah, that's the old Carolina Reapers. Um, next up, Peach Seven Pots. These things are producing like crazy as well. There are so many pods on these. So let's get down and uh, you see them much better from under the canopy. Okay, so, I mean, just look at them all. All throughout the whole, the whole plant, just bearing down. And that's only, you know, less than a month of, of growing pods, and it has that many already, so, very cool. Same thing over, I mean, they're still, forming but at the same time is dropping flowers and pollinating flowers so yeah a whole bunch ready to come in there yeah very nice very nice okay and next up the bubblegum seven pot. Man, I didn't think this thing was gonna set any pods. Um, I don't know if it's just hard to pollinate because the shape of the calyx or what. But I mean, where's where's the one at? So I can. I mean, when they pollinate, the calyx seems to like grow and puff up a, a bit, but they're huge compared to the other super pots. But uh, we're finally getting some. Here's it. This one's bulging. You know. Come on, don't focus on the grass. Okay, so we're finally getting some pods on the Bubblegum 7 pot. So I'm happy about that. Although this thing is not really bushy, it's fairly tall. It's got a good good branching system coming up. Hopefully we get uh, more pollination on that. There's only, I don't know, maybe a dozen on there that just recently got pollinated. So yeah, and then, uh, the 
seven pot chaguana. A mystery seven pot that I have no idea what they're supposed to look like or what even color they're gonna be, but um, they're growing. They're definitely growing. All right, and then uh, last up, the Maruga scorpions. Um, these ones have been kind of temperamental with the weather and the rain. Um, I was hoping a lot of those would turn into big shoots, but they never did. They just kind of stayed like that. But we're getting pods, so a little irregular one there. There's one here that tried to have a tail. <laughs> uh, this one should be true to form. The wrinkly skin and the bulb. So hopefully that one comes out true. Alright. And a whole bunch of little ones just dotting right up by the canopy. So uh, this one over here, much shorter bushier plant. But uh, look at the amount of pods compared to the other one. There's a ton in there. Again, getting the irregular pods, like a long pod here, and then just a huge big fat pod here. I don't, I don't exactly know what's going on with them. Oh man, some kind of web. What is that? It looks like an ant in a cocoon. Wow. I mean, it's probably a spider, but I swear that looks like an ant. Wow. Don't bite me. That's an ant. In a cocoon on my pepper. What the heck? Oh. Weird. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. These marugas are just growing kind of funny. So, but hey, we'll see once they, well, I mean, ones like this, it looks like they might have that little tail on them. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, so yeah. Um, you'll notice like, in contrast, a lot of those, these are like real light, almost yellow, but then the new ones are green. That's just, uh, hopefully that's a sign that they're in better health now than they were, which I'm pretty sure that's the case. But uh, I'm happy with the progress for July getting a ton of pots coming in. Um, let's walk over and check out the Galapagoense chilies. Yeah, I just keep these separated because I don't, I don't know, I don't know what these guys want that I'm not giving them. Uh, we've got maybe a half a dozen pods on this one. Peppers right now. These are pretty cool looking though. I can't wait to try them. Just like little marble BB chilies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so maybe about a dozen so far on this. But um, yeah, I can't figure out. I can't figure out what they want. They're getting plenty of nutrients. Um, I'm letting them dry out a lot more than the other ones now. Uh, they didn't get a watering today like the other ones did. Maybe that's what they need. I don't know. So yeah, and this is a little one. Not a single, not a single pot on there. What? If I get a few and I can just keep my, my seed stock up on those, I'll try again next season. Because that's a really, really cool uh, plant to grow. So again, when I ordered those, it said it's, it's the hardest chili to grow. So yeah. Anyway, that's it guys. Um, hopefully another couple of weeks. We'll see if this weather keeps up. I mean, there's a ton of pods on the, on the plants now, but uh, if the weather stays, they might go through a little bit of a growth spurt and get a little bit taller for August. But um, yeah, that's it. All right guys, I will catch you next time.